pine two trees. big pine trees. Two. Uh, and then the family favorite, uh, free bingo for all ages, is going to be over at the Lions Hall again, 3.30 to 4.30. Um, we'll have um, hundreds of dollars in prizes if everything goes well. So uh, we had quite a few prizes last year, so that worked out well. <coughs> um, one bingo card per person, it's all free. Um, and everybody generally had a good time. We've gotten donations so far from the Manchester Monarchs. Uh, we'll have gift baskets. The Red Sox are going to send something. Butterfly Place, O'Neill Theater, we have tickets to the movies, Boston Duck Tours, and uh, Manchester Wolves have sent in some tickets. And so I promise I'll bring the stuff is send pouring the ball in. again. I'll yeah. have the ball there on time. Now uh, well, that's it. Any questions for Bob? Are you going to do like a beat the clock thing or anything? Uh, it'll be something kind of like that. So there will Some be kind of a family type up. challenge. Oh, yeah. I like that. Well, he did the amazing yeah. race one year and beat the clock the other year. Yeah. I always can't wait to show up to the kids' day. You know, <laughs> <laughs> all the games. <laughs> all right. Now that I skipped everybody and I was a terrible chair, <laughs> now I can get to where I was. I know. Shame on me. I'm usually not that bad. Um, we haven't come up with a name for it because we finally included the people that we were trying to get there to come in to the event. And um, so we're still calling it OHD Saturday Night Live. Well, Saturday Night, Night Live. Live. <laughs> OHD is Saturday Night. Night. If they are alive. <laughs> and, um, but this year, Adriana decided to take that tour, uh, task on. And she brought in a high school student, which was probably the smartest move we've made as a committee. And that's Scott Carpenter, correct? And Scott's here, and Adrian is here, and they're going to talk about what's going to happen on Saturday night at Old Home Day. Well, um, first I'll, I'll pass it over to Scott because he's been doing a lot of work. I wanted to thank um, the Londonderry High School Student Council for meeting with me and for hearing um, what I had to say and to see if they had an interest in this night. And it's great to know that there is a lot of interest in having uh, a venue for them, for the kids of the high school age. And I'm really happy and really excited that not only has Scott stepped up to kind of, you know, coordinate everything between our committee and them, but he has a committee of his own. And so it's great to know that there are students in L at LHS that uh, really want to make this night work and successful because um, we felt that we were missing a piece of the community by not having really something that involved them. So I'll pass it over to Scott. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, everybody for uh, inviting the student council to have a say in what goes on at Teen Night. Um, there was a great response when we first came up with it. Um, and we got a, a lot of people sign up for the committee and we're kind of bouncing some ideas around. And I just wanted to uh, talk to you a bit about what we've come up with. Um, <clears throat> As you know, the event, event's going to be from uh, 8 o'clock to uh, 10 p.m. on August the 16th. Um, it might go a little longer than that. Uh, we have a, uh, as far as food and beverage goes, we have an uh, ice cream truck uh, set up. Um, Mr. Ben's. Mm -hmm. Uncle Ben's. Uncle Ben's, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and he's paying a fee to be there, um, and we told him we'd be more than happy to have him. Um, we're currently looking for uh, donations for Gatorade because we're looking to have some sort of a beverage there uh, in order to sell. Um, also, the student council has uh, expressed interest in maybe selling some sort of food item, like chips or a snack or something like that, uh, as a fundraiser, um, in order to, you know, kind of raise awareness as, you know, what the student council does around the town and that sort of thing. Um, as far as entertainment goes, uh, we have um, already booked a band called uh, Funk Pod. Um, you might have heard about them uh, before. Um, oh, no. Show of hands. Show of hands. I know. And the reason the reason I say, oh, say wow. the reason uh, that I say that is because um, I know Mr. Robinson uh, is your son. Uh, yeah, two, two both George. your sons are oh, in both. there. Uh, are in that band. And, yeah, uh, they, they tend to rehearse. Tom, I think yeah. Tom Tom is. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the drum set is. Uh, they haven't Ready told me exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't told me exactly how long they're going to be able to play for. Um, but I know they have a lot of great material, so it's really going to be a good time. And I think it's important to include teenagers in the entertainment process and because uh, there's nothing better than just seeing your friends upstage just, you know, entertaining you and making sure you have a good time. Um, it's, it's a lot better than some, you know, I'm not going to say a no-name band, but a band that they can't really relate to and, you know, it, it's just fun to see everybody up there. 
Um, another idea that we're toying around with is kind of having uh, kind of a drum off sort of thing, where we get two sets of drums up there, you know, the full setup, and then we kind of have the, uh, the two drummers kind of you know battle each other to see who's the best drummer, and then we kind of kind of give a prize away to who is the best drummer, kind of by a round of applause, that sort of thing, and kind of have an MC kind of rope the whole thing together. Um, maybe something along the other lines, uh, as the same, along the same lines as the drum off, something like a, a guitar duel or something like that. Because the music department, as the Friends of Music could tell you, is it just absolutely, it's just so extensive at Lenendary High School, and they have so much to offer. I think that's a, a really important resource that we need to tap in order to uh, really make the night um, worth it. Um, we're also looking for anybody else who is uh, uh, maybe looking to be part of the entertainment or wants to sell anything like that, um, to sell, and sell any food or beverages at the night. Um, and if anybody, um, needs to contact me, my email address is uh, carpsd at comcast.net, that's C-A-R-P-S-D at comcast.net. And um, just any questions, comments, uh, suggestions, anybody you think might be some, uh, you know, a fun entertainment item, uh, just uh, shoot me an email and I will see what the student council has to say. Um, and finally, just uh, a side note, uh, if it does rain on Saturday, the uh, location will be the Matthew Thornton Gymnasium, um, just as a, as a rain. So rain or shine, but just different location. Um, and that's all I have, and I just want to thank you once again for reaching out to the student body and on behalf of the student council and all of Lundari High School. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Actually, very good. I mean, Isn't he the most professional out of all of us? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sad. I haven't been on the committee long enough. Okay, okay. What well, do you got a question? I'm going to have to clean up my ass. Uh, I have a question. Sure. Uh, in, uh, regarding your donation uh, for Gator Aid, yes. um, exactly how much do you want and what what type of, um, I know there's all different flavors of Gator Aid, but right. Uh, what is it specifically? Do you have any idea right now just about what you want and what kind of a donation you need? Well, uh, you, um, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Comps, really. Well, as far as the donation, I, I'm going to Coca-Cola. They asked me to, that I have to go there and pick up an application for a donation. So that's that'll be first step. And as far as how many, it seems like they're going to have quite a few people now start to show up. Right, um, yeah. So we haven't really gone that far yet, Carol, to be honest with you, as would to how many. Let, would you let me know if... It, you have to have a monetary donation of some type or something because uh, we have an ongoing thing at LSCI and right now um, you kind of took me by surprise but um, our senior to senior helping not so much just the seniors with the scholarship oh. but from LSCI with our seniors um, we like to communicate back and forth with the high school students, and we have several programs. So if, if there's something that's monetary or something that we could do, I, I can't guarantee how much it would be, but I can assure you that um, we would be able to do something in forms of donation. And Great. right now I'm speaking out of turn, but I'm sure it will be fine. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and if anybody else... when Carol speaks, I mean, people listen. The yeah. way our sponsorship works is we have sponsors, and, and um, all the money is pooled together, and we use it for um, all the different events. And if this turns into a event where... Um, of course, we do have money towards the right, We have a budget. We do have a budget. So if, depending on how much we raise, you know, we could extend that, mm -hmm. the budget larger in the sense of getting, assisting with getting the monetary in the sense of the Gatorade and the, and the chips and stuff. Because I actually like to see the student council use this as a fundraiser for themselves, mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. school or something like that. You know, and I would like to see it at, if any groups, uh, at, I mean, I don't know if the rest of the board feels this way, but I'd like to see high school organizations as the ones that are on the common that night, making the money and not yeah. just mm -hmm. another thing. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, what, I, what I could do is um, we have for each class, you know, freshmen, sophomores, junior, seniors, um, we have class representatives. And what they do basically is they run fundraisers throughout the year, selling you know, everything from you know, popcorn and root beer floats to uh, Dunkin' Donuts coffee and candy and this, that, and the other thing. And, um, 
I think I could get in contact with all four of the classes. That would be great if the classes run their fundraising. I mean, fundraising. Because uh, yes, a lot of things that they're used to selling are, are sort of like, I would say, maybe carnival food, you know, cotton candy, right. popcorn. Right, and that would have fit in perfectly. Exactly. And I, I will contact them.